Confident computing number 816. Is it safe to let your browser remember passwords? Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com with another edition of the Confident Computing Weekly Newsletter. I want to start out by acknowledging that there are a few changes to the layout of this week's newsletter. Last week I mentioned a couple of YouTube videos that I had published that hadn't yet made it onto AskLeo.com and that actually got me to thinking that, well, it's not the only time that's ever going to happen and I've been doing more videos and some people just like videos so I should do a better job of letting you know about it. So the result is that if you scroll down in the newsletter a little further, you'll find a list of all of the videos that I've released on YouTube this week. Hopefully that'll be interesting to those who are video inclined. I've also changed the layout of the article list itself to be a little bit more consistent with what I've done. Hopefully it's a little bit more readable. Hopefully it's useful. As always, everything I do is a test of some sort, and I hope you find it helpful. Speaking of videos, there is one subtle change I made a little while ago that I suspect a lot of people haven't noticed, and that is that if you are logged in to AskLeo.com and you are a patron of AskLeo, some of the videos you see will be slightly different than the other folks, the folks who aren't logged in or the folks who aren't patrons. The difference is actually very simple. Um, when you're a patron of AskLeo, you get the ad-free experience on AskLeo, except for a bunch of the videos. A bunch of the videos are in fact YouTube videos and they include ads. What I decided to do a couple of months ago, I think four to six weeks ago maybe, is to actually have different hosting for videos, for the same videos, uh, for those who are logged in or signed into the site as a patron. Those videos, when you're signed in as a patron, they're not on YouTube, they don't have ads. Again, just something that I want to do to thank the patrons of Ask Leo for making all of this possible. This week's featured article, yep, it's why you probably don't really want to let your browser remember passwords for you and instead invest in a tool specifically for remembering passwords. In other words, a password vault of some sort. Does it really matter which one you use? The reputable ones are all safer alternatives, I believe, than letting your browser do it for you. Also this week, using Windows 10 Disk Cleanup, how to get the Windows 10 feature update, whether or not you're in a rush to get it or would prefer to delay a little bit. I'm obviously somewhere in between. I need it sooner than most, but not as soon as some. And why Wi-Fi is almost always slower than wired connections. On the video side of things, we actually talk about the opposite. Why Wi-Fi might in some cases actually be faster than a wired connection why an online service that can tell you your password that's a red flag it means they're not doing security right and if you close your account what happens if someone comes along later and reopens it what does that really mean this week there was no teh podcast gary and i took the week off we're going to claim it's for independence day that's the excuse i'm going to use and run with it Next week's Ask Leo Live will be on Saturday the 11th at 2 p.m. U.S. Pacific Time. I'm going to cover password managers and I'm going to demo LastPass, a couple of the things that I think a lot of people tend to overlook or maybe get confused when they're using LastPass or even just considering a password vault. Of course, I'll also be taking your questions live. The latest info, as always, at askleo.com slash live info. That's it for this week. I hope you find this helpful. I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com. Take care.